Well, welcome to another episode of Puff Daddy Brief. It is Sunday, and it's time to do a quick rundown on the tanks. I've got a lot of things to show you. Some of them I'm going to break out into full videos later, but I just want to give you a quick update of where things are going and what I'm up to. So if you can see behind me, I've got my big uh, Red Sea Reefer 650 Peninsula tank. And basically this tank has been a real uh, long battle for me with just typical problems of starting to tank, also me just kind of not doing everything exactly perfectly. Uh, examples like this are curing my rocks uh, slowly, having an undersized skimmer, and wait, having an undersized skimmer? I think I just solved that problem. Boom! Check out that sump. I just got a skim skimmer. It's absolutely enormous. It's one of their oval skimmers. And so this is one of the videos that I'll have a separate video to break out just so that people that really want to review on the skimmer itself uh, don't have to watch all of this other content with it. So keep looking for that. That's coming down the pipe. Review this new skim skimmer. And of course, I have it going into my skimmate locker here. I have not yet drilled the holes in order to route this in and keep everything closed. One problem with this skimmer that I found though is I did not have enough room, even though it's a space saving skimmer. I got a very large one, so there's not quite enough room for my reactor, which is just kind of sitting in the other tank there. So that's kind of a thing going on there. Also, I'm getting a new scraper for this tank, one that actually um, is less likely to scratch my glass. I had an incident where a different scraper scratched my glass, so I'm getting a new one. Didn't scratch this tank. Actually scratched this tank. And this is my Nouveau Fusion 20 gallon tank. This is the one that I'm doing no water changes, not even touching for a whole year. And by a year, I mean I'm just not going to touch it for a month. I started about like December 2nd or 3rd, and then I'll do another water change and kind of get things up to date and going in January 2nd or 3rd. But this was the ultimate low nutrient system, and so far, this is now week three, update three, and um, basically the auto top off water is about at 50%. So that means that we might have enough to make it update three. Oh no, this is actually only two weeks in because the last week was the first week of telling you what was down um, after one week. So this is two weeks, this is the third video on this tank though. So. Two weeks without touching or doing anything, let me show you what it looks like. So basically in here, um, there is a little bit of film on the glass, but not much, uh, not too significant. Someone did mention online that what am I doing to feed my anemone? Well, all this anemone is getting fed is sunlight. Once again, I don't recommend this for the long term. This is just part of the no-touch tank, though the water is cool, the metabolism is low, and there are getting some nutrients from things that are floating in there um, in the tank and the natural ecosystem so it should be fine in the short term but in the long term I definitely would recommend always feeding your anemones some nutritious snacks now as far as the zoas go I've been having some issues where some aren't looking as good most of them are looking pretty good and sorry because the shots aren't as clear because of the uh, film on the glass these snails can only do so much but basically, these ones here, which are actually some of my favorite pallies, um, I believe they were called blue agave. Um, but they seem a little shriveled up. So they're not having the best time of their life. I don't know if it's the amount of light, because I do have one down there um, that is less shriveled up. Um, but they seem to be responding not perfectly. If I look at the parameters on this tank, um, I'm running at 77 degrees and the pH is about 8.08. .08. Uh, the pH has been pretty good during the day. It goes up to 8.30, uh, which is about right where I want it. So that's this tank. It's pretty much going very well. And this is it for this video. It's just a really short update because I do have future videos going on this. A lot of stuff has been happening but they're kind of things that are separate topics, so I want to have them separately. So thank you very much for watching this update. Stay tuned for more updates. I have a lot of more content coming, uh, but just need time to edit it and make it uh, really value-added time for you. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you later on Puff Daddy Reef.